Good afternoon. Today's engine run is the final and third runner, I'm going to call it, we'll, we'll see if it'll run, from the Boxo engines uh, that my neighbor Chuck gave me. This is a 1973 vintage Fox 29, which it has a slant plug in it. Um, I do have a review article that I'll post some images of on this engine, but as you can see, I do not have an exhaust for it. Not like the exhaust that came with it would have really done much anyway, it was going to be loud anyway, but this is going to be extremely loud. Now I have no idea if this engine has ever been run before, and it's a cast iron piston and steel sleeve, so it's one of those engines that really needs a proper break in. But I'm just going to try and see if I can actually get it to run. The high speed or the low speed mixture setting is right here, a little knob, which is actually where this fuel line goes into, so trying to get on that is going to be almost impossible because it's just so close to the prop. I've got the high speed needle open about two turns and it's got a large knob on it so I should at least be able to tune that. I don't have high expectations for being able to see much of an idle and I might try and peek it out a little bit but you know I don't know the status of this engine. I basically just want to see if I can get it to run to make a video of. So. I've got an APC 9.6 prop, which is one of the props recommended for this engine, uh, a Fox RC long idle bar plug, and probably not the right fuel for this, but it's the tank I had on here, which is S&W 12.5% nitro. So let's uh, see if this baby will run, and maybe I should get my earplugs. Okay, take two. So apparently what happened was I thought the high speed needle was bottomed out, but in reality, and open two turns, but in reality it was not even close to being bottomed out. So I just ran it in, it's really tight, and I've got it open to a, a much different setting than it was, so let's see if it'll fire up now. Get my earplugs back in.
Well, that wasn't so bad with the uh, earplugs in, but uh, at one point I did kind of pull both out and then just one out at a time, and that was ear splitting. So initially what was going on was I thought I had this high-speed needle closed and then opened two full turns. Well, the first try to uh, get it running just was way too rich. So I just started screwing it in more and more and more, and it was very tight, but I could feel that it was still screwing in. So I screwed it into what I thought was as far as I could get it. I still had some airflow going through at full throttle, but then I backed it out like a turn and a half or so from there anyway. And I did preliminarily set the low speed to what I thought sounded fine. As you can see, I did do some adjustments on both high and low speed, and I got this engine to run. I mean, it ran pretty well for, I guess, a 1973 engine. But like I said, that may have been the first time this engine's ever been run. And if so, I probably overheated it, uh, possibly. But I have no idea if the engine had been run before or not, or broken in or anything. I knew nothing about this engine, other than I thought it looked new, but it's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, 1973 Fox 29 slant plug. It runs, and believe me, it's loud and that's probably the only time I'm ever going to run this engine. Now I'm probably going to go oil it up and do something else with it. But anyway, thank you for watching.